Hi there. Now for part D, we've now got to find the equation of the regression line of m on v. And already we've established the value of b in the regression line from the previous part, 0.7399 and so on. So we need to establish what the constant a is. And to do that, you should be familiar with this result here, where the constant a is given for y on x as the mean of y, y bar, minus b times the mean of x. So we've just got to essentially just translate this for our y's and x's. And so to get a, a is going to be equal to, not y bar this time, the mean of y, but it'll be the mean of m. And so that's going to be the sum of all the m values divided by how many we've got, which is 8. So that's going to be 1, 0, 6, 1, 0. And that's divided by 8. And then we've got minus b times the mean of x. Well, b, we worked out here, was 0. Point, so it's going to be minus 0. 0.7399 and so on, and that's multiplied by the mean of x. Well, that's going to be the mean of v, and so it's going to be the total of v values, 19390, 19390, and that will be divided by the number of values we've got, which is 8. And so if you work this out, then what you end up with is minus 467.0 and so on. And so we're now in a position to work out the regression line for m on v. So if we just put an intro here, we could say therefore m on v. Okay, it's just going to be m equals, and then we've got a, which if we give to three significant figures will be minus 467 and then you've got plus b times v. b we worked out as this value so giving that to three significant figures is going to be plus 0 0.740 and that be multiplied by v and I'll just put here 3sf okay just to show that we've given those values to three significant figures.